The quad damage gun is a weapon that can one shot any enemy in Dying Light 2. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can get your hands on it. You'll first have to come over to this spot at Carnage Hall. Once you get here, you'll need to climb up the statue and grab the Bozak poster. Once you get the poster, you'll have to go through here. Now if it's closed like it is for me, you can go around to Severus. By Severus, there will be a door open for you to go through. Go on down and you'll find the challenge. Once you start this challenge, you'll first have to do two things. One, disarm a bomb, and then the next, kill a bunch of virals. Once you've killed all the virals, you'll be tasked with killing bolters. Now while you're killing bolters, make sure you loot them. They'll drop the quad damage gun and a weapon called the home run, which I'll talk about in a second. Now this is very important. You cannot complete this mission. If you complete the mission, the challenge will disappear and you won't be able to get more. So what I recommend is letting one bolter live and let the timer run out. You'll fail the challenge and be able to restart it and do it over and over again. Now you could also die, but I'm not sure if that'll work, so try it at your own risk. Once you've done enough time and you're happy with the amount you've got, you now have a gun that'll one-shot any enemy you hit it with. Granted that you don't miss or shoot below the body. Now the weapon I was talking about, the home run, it doesn't really do a lot of damage, but it is fun to use. The reason why it's fun is because this weapon can fling your enemies very far, like the spectral bat. So you're gonna have fun flinging your enemies off rooftops or into walls. Now, if you guys wanna know how you can use the force in Dying Light 2, click this video right here on the left. And if you guys wanna see other cool weapons, check out this playlist on the right. 